Tatum Barraquero is one of Brisbane's healthiest newborns. Born a week ago, he weighed 4.4 kilos, or just under 10 pounds on the old scale. He's one of more than 40,000 babies this year, born above the average 3.5 kilos, or 7 pounds 7. Oh, they are big feet. They're huge, huh? <laughs> Next in His dad was a big baby, but genetics aren't the only reason for the big baby boom. Tracy Mortimer was diagnosed with gestational diabetes, often brought on by poor nutrition, at 28 weeks with both of her boys. From that point on, I had to monitor what I was eating, uh, and with Harvey, um, had to take insulin in order to keep my sugar levels down. 7.7 .7 kilos today. Oh, we might just Pudding. Harvey was four kilos when he was born three months ago. Above average, but more worrying, with a high body fat percentage. He's now part of a new study at the Royal Brisbane and Women's Hospital trying to find better ways to treat women that develop gestational diabetes. So, Harvey, you've been here for two minutes. It's in this space age looking pod where doctors can monitor the body fat percentage. A normal healthy baby, no matter their size, has a body fat percentage of around 10%. But that's almost never the case for babies born to mums with gestational diabetes. Their body fat can be as high as 20%. They may be at risk of diabetes and obesity later in life. We all, I guess, watch what we're eating as well. So that'll be important. Change, change your life, I guess. Melissa Mallet, Nine News.